Hi guys, welcome to Aaron's Games. I'm Aaron, and this week I'm going to be looking at another video game from my childhood. This time, Tomb Raider 2. So recently, I was talking to a friend about Tomb Raider, uh, more specifically the new Tomb Raider games and the fact that we both really enjoyed them. They are great games, you should play them if you haven't. And then I thought, ooh, I wonder if the original games are available on Steam. And then I realised, of course they are. So I decided to go and investigate and find Tomb Raider 2, because actually that's one of the first games that I ever asked uh, for. Uh, video games wise, I mean, um, so we were shopping somewhere and I saw the box, Tomb Raider 2, you know, when, those, when they had those big cardboard boxes that the discs came in, um, and I fell in love. I didn't know what the game was, it just looked cool, the fact that it said Tomb Raider on it um, sounded cool to however old I was, me, and I wanted it. Um, I had a bit of a tantrum in the shop when we didn't leave with it, <laughs> and I found myself receiving it for Christmas. Well done, parents. But the computer that we had at home did not have enough memory to play it, which I did not really understand at the time, and to be honest, I still don't really understand these days. But we had to upgrade the memory. At the time, we had four megabytes of RAM. That's right, four megabytes of RAM. <laughs> and uh, we had to upgrade to at least eight megabytes of RAM. Uh, as it happens, we, we upgraded to 16 megabytes of RAM because why not? And I could run the game. Basically what happened is I only ever played the first couple of levels because A, I wasn't very good at it, B, it gave me a really bad fear from running away from tigers and spiders and traps and stuff. I was loving the game, but I just couldn't handle playing it. So I didn't really get that far into the game um, other than watching other people playing it. Uh, my friend was unordinately good at playing the game so I would go around to her house and watch her play it um, and that's about it. So I bought Tomb Raider 2 on Steam and I'm going to play it again now and see how much of the first level I can remember. I played this tutorial the other day um, just to kind of get a feel of the controls but I didn't I haven't actually touched the main game yet. Oh there we go. Alright let's see how much of this I remember. So I remember that that's Obviously run forward and back and you can do the roll thing and also check out my lovely new chair <laughs> it just you know seems a bit better we'll see oh it's jump control is shoot there we go we got it okay I remember a tiger coming out at this point oh yeah you will have to watch the watch the helicopter leave oh okay use those pads as well there's a tiger here where is he Remember those are tigers. What? Oh, no tiger. There is definitely a tiger here. Am I just imagining it? Or does it only come out at a certain point? Maybe I haven't hit the trigger square yet. There he is. Told you. Oh, why would you put your why would you put your guns away, you silly woman? Oh yeah. I can't remember how the controls work in this game. There we go. I seem to remember that the, the tiger drops a medic kit or something. Yeah, run! <laughs> Don't just stand there! There we go. Search the body. No. Hmm. Maybe I was making that up. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> there we go. I remember the tiger, just not exactly where it was. Can I jump this? No. I do vaguely remember how, how where to go, but not enough to know specifically. So I think we go this way. Oh, that was it. There's something in here, isn't there? No? <laughs> Just full of all kinds of false memories. That's good times. Right, okay. I think it's around here, isn't it? Yes, looks to be the case. And I can't remember how to friggin' jump. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is going to be me getting used to the controls all over again. Okay. I also remember there's a secret uh, dragon around here somewhere. Uh, you might 
might notice the vsync on my computer is awful. Is it over there? There it is. It was somewhere. Okay, let's back up and then run and miss the jump into. Oh, I thought I was going to miss that then. Let's just jump sideways because that's where the other secret dragon is. I do remember liking the sound of picking up secrets. Uh -huh. <gasps> Isn't that fun? <laughs> right, how do we walk? Do we hold control? No. Hold shift, that's it. Because I think I can hear another tiger. Yes, I can. Just sh pick him off from a distance. Idiot tiger. Right. I also remember that it took me ages to f actually find this, this, the way across here. Was it here? I don't know if it was here. This bit. I could never manage it. And so I just, just got stuck. And again, my friend, she was the one who showed me how to do it. So you walk forward. And then you back up. So you've got the exact square. And then you run and jump. And that, for some reason that eluded me. <laughs> and there we are. Spiders in here. Right. Okay, they're on. Oh, does F flare work? No. How do we do a flare these days? I don't know. Anybody? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly. Considering I've not played this in god knows how many years. At least 20 years. Maybe longer. It's all stuck in the brain somewhere. Right, we're going to do the walking trick again. Because that's the way to do it. Run, jump, grab! Yeah, there you go. Do a nice roll. I used to like... Uh, I used to like trying to do it so you could see her jump on the side of that alternate camera angle. <laughs> but not quick enough to do it there, apparently. Right. Lovely musics as the friggin' vulture comes at you. Yeah, there we go. lucky love. Oh, another one. Another two, in fact. Now, I think vultures only attack dead prey, so if they think Lara's dead, well, they're a bit presumptuous, aren't they? What happened there? Oh, I guess it's just to give you a view of the wall. So, I seem to remember that going down here leads to things. Yes, there we go. Let's just go straight down here. There's, a, there's the key, that's right. He says, as if he has any notion of what that key does. <laughs> And there's a tiger up here, I think. Yeah. I always used to like when she, when you kind of turn around and she fires her guns at separate times rather than the same time. Have I got any health kits? Yes, I have. Lovely. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I used to like. Um, trying to get them syncopated like that rather than firing at the same time. For some reason believing that that did, would do more damage. Doesn't. Probably doesn't. Well, I'm pretty sure it definitely doesn't. Um, but still, I used to like doing that. Hmm. I hope you can hear this alright now because I can just about hear it. Well, I can definitely hear it, but hopefully it's coming out for you guys. Okay. I'm also expecting a delivery of sweets, so... I may have to pause the stream, stream the recording, for that. Here's where the key goes. Use the guardhouse key. Lovely. I think this is the bit where it starts to get really exciting in terms of like traps and stuff. Um, or certainly soon, anyway. Oh, is that the spider sound? Yeah, it is. Right, let's jump up here. There's a spider. Yeah. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. All you like, you little shits. You ain't having a bite of this, babe. I've never said that in my life. I'm never going to say it again. 
I killed the spider. <laughs> and I just lost him to pieces. Amazing. Okay, is it just because the sound effects really loud? Ah! Ah! Kill the spiders. There we go. <laughs> it's just the cartoonishness of, of her bashing into things like that. It's hilarious. I really can't sidestep in this game. In turn, that's about it. And you literally have to press your boobs onto the, the lock uh, before you can attempt to open it. Everyone knows that's how that works, right? I forgot I had the shotgun as well. That would have made light work of those degrees, but never mind. It is the turn of the spiders. Pew pew pew. Aha. Shotgun shells and a medikit. We shall make use of not one of those medikits because we do not need to. Although there is health being drained. No, nope. how do we do this again? There we go. You could just pull this massive stone block with your bear strength. As in, the strength of a bear. As another deadly spider appears. And <laughs> I sound like a lizard. <laughs> right, this is the bit where shit starts to go wrong. I do remember. There we go. Slide down here. And then you have these lovely spiky spikies, which I also remember how to get past them. Have they started yet? No. So, if you just start forward this way, there they go. So, you'll see as well that there are two at the back. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. Um, <laughs> there's two at the back, and um, they have not started yet, so... What you do is you go up here, you basically you can you can shimmy your way all the way along and not hit any of them. And now you enjoy the rhythm. I don't know if there is another way to cross this room, but this is the way that I know. And it's a funky way. So, then you get to the end here, and you drop, and you do a little spin under the water, and you swim carefully, so you swim to this side of the, the pointy sharpie tracks, and that's it. Done. We have successfully avoided this horrible trap, which would definitely kill you if you went in the water for any long period of time. There we go. Right, now, here's where it starts to get really, really interesting, and I think I remember the way to go, but I might not, so... Oh, let's save the game here, actually, while I think of it. <laughs> that would be expeditious. There we go. I'm just going to make sure that it's saved, because anxiety. There we go, that's fine. It did. Ah, oh, you can do the do the one, two, three thing with, with the guns. Right, here we go, and I also remember loving this music, so enjoy. two boulders, keep running, and jump, or you die. And then we jump again to the left, and to the front, and you miss out on the submachine gun ammo, because that's too risky. And the spikes, they will get you. Ah! <laughs> like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> now we use the mini pack because Aaron is an idiot, and decided to make an attempt at those submachine gun ammo, even though he hasn't got the submachine guns yet. Now, the funny s slicey blades of death are down there. I don't remember how to pass these other than just running, and I don't think I remember much about the rest of the level either, so this could go very interestingly. Did I save it? I'm going to save it again, because anxiety. There we go. Right, let's give it a go. Here we go. Whee! Oh, slice. Whee! We Okay, there's a green, green dragon. Do we want it? Yes, we do. Is it going to kill us? Probably. Ah, uh, was it worth it? No, absolutely not. 
Okay, so another thing I've just realised is that the music isn't working. So that's interesting. Jump, 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 wait for it to fall, 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 fall. Oh, that was close. That was so damn close. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? We'll use the medikit and then save. Because there's another medikit there. We'll do that. Da -da -da. I'm really surprised how, how much of this level I'm remembering. It's great. So. Got blades, spinning blades of death there. Anything else of interest in this room before we run on? Oh, I think I do remember now. Let's go! Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's find out. Oh yeah. So, I think, if I remember rightly. No, I have just one and then have two. There we go. What am I shooting at? Oh, spiders. So, if I remember rightly, there's a T-Rex down here. Ah, spiders! I think. Anyway. There's also a secret bit here. Is it here? Yeah, it is there. What's, how do we get there? We can't. It's too high. But there is something up there. And yet, I have no idea how to get it. If you do know... And can tell, well, it's not going to help me now, but... <laughs> so yeah, I seem to recall that there is a T-Rex down in the bottom of this, this area here. But I do not want to face it. Or do I? Ah! Uh, oh, the music is working! Okay. Maybe it's just I wasn't paying attention because I was just trying not to die. Maybe there was no music there. Big scary drop. Let's go. Okay, and then there were some tigers at the bottom here, I think. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to jump off the edge then. I'll just do a standing jump, love. Why not? There we go. Right, now. Let's see. Oh, I need to go get some sweets. Oh, hi, jeez. Poor Lara. Left her standing there. <clears throat> I've just bought a massive box of sweets because I'm allegedly an adult and that is a thing that I can do. <sighs> I'm also out of breath because I'm ridiculously unfit. So, can I remember how to get down here? without dying. I think it's a case of doing some sort of this manoeuvre. I realised I should save before I try these risky business type things. There we go. Dive off the edge again, Lara. What's the worst that could happen? That is the worst that could happen. <laughs> Full on death. Let's load the game. Because <laughs> we were right to save. Okay. Is there any ledge there? There is no ledge at all. Nothing in the slightest. Ah, is it a case of... Because, if you look, there's another bit there. Can you drop and... No, you cannot do that, but there is the gold dragon. <laughs> That's the one we were aiming for. But I don't remember how to get it. And I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity now. Oh, there's a ledge there. Does that help? Nearly can run off the edge of it. Does not appear to have any extra safety measures installed. So we shall abandon this quest. Uh, yeah. I think this is going to be fruitless, sadly. And I've saved over it, so I can't go back. <laughs> that was a smart move. Right, let's just go. Fuck it. I vaguely remember there being a big door through this room. Hurrah! <laughs> and a really bad cutscene, which is going to cut out, literally going to cut out, because my computer is not set up for this kind of game. As in, old. Here we go. No one there. You noticed this. Oh, he just appears from 
the scene. Oh, it plays the cutscene though, that's good. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> Leave that Tommy gun on my key ring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Remember it, word by word. <laughs> Perhaps not just yet, then. All right, Sarky bitch. I say, casually get your laptop out. Aha, uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. Under twenty minutes. When previously it would have taken me, you know, over twenty-four hours. That's all right, isn't it? Just drop, just drop yourself into Venice, and that's where I'm going to stop playing. Because why not? I'm interested to find out about the um, T-Rex. I'm going to look it up quickly and talk about it in the closing. <laughs> After the jump. So I didn't. I, I don't know why I'm doing that because I didn't look it up yet. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so I have looked it up now, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I should have jumped down from the other side of the pit before I ziplined down. And apparently, in doing so, in skipping that whole section, completely missed out on the opportunity to get a grenade launcher. Oh, oh well. Um, I, I might carry on playing Tomb Raider 2, I might record it, because it's funny. Um, I definitely don't remember the Venice level in anywhere near as much detail as I do remember that one. Um, I don't know why I remember that one so well, perhaps because it took me so long to make to complete it. The, the only thing I really remember about the Venice level is that it ends with you having to smash a boat into some mines, jumping out, and then uh, race another boat to... No, you, you start with the smashing, using the boat to smash the mines, and then you have to race down the, down the waterways, and you have to open gates and stuff like that. That's about as much as I remember. Um... And then that's about it. Ah, I do remember actually having skipped some levels and playing some of the underwater levels. I'm pretty sure that was Tomb Raider 2. Um, and fighting sharks underwater. But I think that's about it. I don't think I've played any of the other any other parts of the game. Not like I remember anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed playing Tomb Raider 2 again. That was fun. <laughs> And um, like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're on the YouTube. If you're on the new Facebook page, then you can just hit like and also hit notifications to find out when I post. Because if you don't know already, I post Mondays and Fridays, but Facebook reach isn't great. So if you want to see these videos, then you might have to follow the page a bit more closely. Um, but see how we go. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Leave me some comments if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, I've done the falsetto again every time. Bye-bye. See you again.